in compost heap yesterday to sort out some compost for this bed that was dug last week I realised that the compost heap I was emptying was absolutely packed with dry materials that really are going to take some rotting down so I've decided to have another bonfire it's pretty close to bonfire night so in half an hour or so I'm going to get a bonfire going it's been other than clearing that out another day of getting stuff dug over Sue's shifted some weed control fabric off this bed that had flowers in and it's just about got it dug over and while Sue's been doing that I've cleared weed control fabric off this bed which is another bed we're going to halve, put a path down the middle because we usually finish up wanting to walk down the middle and it just gets hard and compacted so we're deciding we'll have a path down so we've got one half of this bed to go over as well I think it's probably time for a coffee now and I might see what I can do about starting my fire Martin's making the most of the idea of bonfire night being the time for lots of fires to have another fire to burn some more dry rubbish and it seems to be going very well maybe too well Is it a bit warm there? Smoking coming this way now so I'm going to take you over to where I've been digging Gradually this half of the plot, well, this section of the plot is starting to look tidy now. This is the bit that I dug today. It's the bit where I had some excuses for hardy annuals last year. But what I noticed when I was digging it is, if you look at the colour of this, I think you'll be able to get it from the video that would imply it's quite damp but if we look just go around the other side at this bed here which is one I did I think it was last week you can see that we haven't had much moisture at all as it's already becoming quite dry so I don't know if you can see if I get them both in the same shot, the difference. Right, can you see that? So I'm presuming that in another couple of days, if we don't get any rain, that bed will look pretty much the same as this one. There we have a shot of Martin with his fire from a safe distance. I'm quite a distance away and I can still feel the heat. We're just hoping it all clears as quickly as it did last time. We haven't got any fireworks. I can go bang if you like. No, it's all right. <laughs> this is the bit we still need to tackle. But 
we do feel we've made quite good progress this autumn. It's quite windy, as you can maybe tell from how the flames are wafting around. Smokier this time, isn't it? A bit, yeah. I can feel that from here. Can you? Martin's just getting the last few bits now. There's a few bits and pieces on the bed that needs scraping up and popping on. So we should have some more nice wood ash to put on that bed next week. So it's time while we watch the embers dying down to have a cup of coffee. Sorry, no parking pigs, just coffee. What about some parking? No parking? Okay. Nothing to eat at all. <laughs> Just thought I'd have a look around before we leave just test the low light capabilities of this GoPro 7. Bonfires burnt all that rubbish so we now have a fresh compost heap to begin. Seems much later than half past three. Just have a wander down here. So we now, I've now emptied as much as I can get out of this compost heap. And now put a bit of pallet back at the front so I can start filling it back up. Um, the reason I don't go below the weed control fabric is because there are loads and loads bindweed roots underneath and they seem quite happy to grow under there and come up the side and not in the compost so 
I'm leaving Wellby, but I did have a quick look there. So that means we can now start to refill that compost here. And what I will do is I shall put some weed control fabric over the top of this one and now leave this to rot down maybe till this time next year something like that and then hopefully we'll get some compost out of that one these are our winter cabbages that survive that are just beginning to form some sort of heart so I'm hopeful that we'll get something off those and despite the frost our Alzmere cauliflowers look okay and as far as I know I'm not expecting anything off them until spring next year and then at the very end we have some purple sprouting broccoli that's looking good too I'm quite pleased with this bed didn't know whether it had suffered from blight but either our measures of additional lime have worked or it just doesn't suffer from blight from blight I don't mean blight I mean um, club root I think it's probably safe to leave that fire now Certainly the two fires we've had over the last couple of weeks have definitely cleared away a lot of dried rubbish that was going to take ages to rot down. It's lovely and warm here, not at all like November. So, did you, um, did you do a bit of that? What? This bed that I got dug over? I haven't done it. All oh, right. Because I thought you were. No. I don't think I did. I can't remember. I think I might have done. <laughs> do it again. So, are they staying in over winter, you're just clearing? I'm not sure. Well, I can see what happens. Is... We have got some chard elsewhere. Yeah, but it's not going to harm, is it? No, there's some beetroot further up yeah. as well. We might as well just leave that and see what we'll happens. Just tidy this bit up. Yeah, well, we I was going to... We fold that over and tidy that bit I was going to suggest we want to get packed up, seeing as it's... Yeah, I don't mean now. Right. No, I think I did do this bit. I'm sure I did this bit, that I dug this over, put a marker in for the path so we don't walk in it all the time. And Sue's managed to get another bed through here dug over. She had those first flowers in this spring that had overwintered in the greenhouse. Not very well. Got a few flowers off them. So we're going to pack up now, get ready and head for home. It does seem very late to say it's only um, 6.25 to 4.